Gentlemen, at microphone number one, please. No. I'm going to direct this to uh, Dr. Sonia Johnson. When, with your presentation, you were speaking of minimizing the risk with regards to the radiation. You didn't say eliminate risk. Also, you were talking about uh, how we have certain mechanisms with our kidneys that will, in, in effect, repair themselves. That would not certainly apply to the seniors living in Elliott Lake who may have kidney failure, kidney problems, other organ dysfunction. Would that be a fair statement? The information that I presented to you tonight is to, to give you an idea of what the effects are of uranium on the body and how it does affect the kidney. And at low levels of exposure, the kidney can repair, repair itself in a few days. I'm not able to answer that question of what you're talking about. Either. Well, I'm just comment, or asking with regards to you, you spoke of kidneys and how they have a mechanism of repairing themselves. I'm asking you with regards to people who do not have those mechanisms because of kidney problems, seniors may have problems that affect their organs. Therefore, any exposure to radiation or greater effects than normal or considered uh, acceptable levels, they may not have those mechanisms of repairing themselves, correct? I'm not able to answer that question. Okay. I, I, have, I want to appeal to you as, as uh, having some maternal instincts here. I'm going to ask you, I don't know if you have children or not, but if you do, would you yourself relocate to an area that is going to be mined, drink the water, live on that land, knowing that I cannot and nobody in this room can guarantee that there will not be any negative effects as a result of the mining. Would you yourself live within a five mile radius, let alone a hundred mile, yourself and your family? Would you expose your children to that exposure? I'm here, I'm here tonight to represent... I'm just asking you if you would live there. I'm here tonight to represent... I'm here tonight to represent my own personal opinions. I'm, 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 okay, well, I'm here to give you information. Uh, me. Take that information yeah. and make your own I can, I can appreciate that. Yeah. And I can appreciate that. Not a problem. I can appreciate and, that. And, and uh, I'll remind one more time. Um, it is These panelists are here to provide you with information. Putting them on the spot personally. None of you are exposing yourselves to that. Nobody is asking you to come up here so we can do that. Please keep your questions relative to subject. It's very difficult, but I can appreciate what you said. We know the answer. We do have a Charter of Rights and Freedoms that speaks of fair and equal treatment, as well as speaks of freedom from abuse. To expose, this is to everyone, to expose our families to any element of risk to radiation, radon, any sort would be a form of abuse. Thank you. I, uh, I continue to take my cues from the audience and the panel, and I notice there's a lot of people here that would like to ask, I'm sure, some very poignant questions, so I would like to continue on the basis that we will have questions for the panel that they are able to answer for you. Microphone two, please. Bonsoir. Est-ce que, ok, bonsoir, je m'appelle Philippe André Collette, je suis un artiste professionnel, j'habite à London. Je sais que le débat c'est l'uranium, mais je tiens absolument à ce que mon prochain commentaire soit apporté au gouvernement du Canada ou au gouvernement du Nouveau-Brunswick. En tant que francophone, c'est extrêmement désolant que toute communication que j'ai eue avec le département de ressources naturelles s'est passée uniquement en anglais et que la présentation de ce soir est uniquement en anglais. C'est extrêmement désolant pour la seule province officiellement bilingue. I will express myself in English because it's very, it's easy. Uh, I attended the information session last night, organized by the Department of Natural Resources and Protecting. It was very interesting. The Minister of Natural Resources 
Donat Arsenault, was present. However, he never addressed anyone in the room, even though many questions were directly intended to him. That, in my opinion, is a direct demonstration of his lack of leadership and his cowardly practice. His refusal to deal with the citizens of New Brunswick who are not a silent majority on the mining issue is an insult to the people he represents as an elected official. Shame on you, Mr. Arsenault. Shame on you. and have not, I repeat, have not received notification by mail or in person from a company representative. Oh my God. Please stand up. Mr. Ronshaw and Mr. McCune, please look at the hands up. I urge, I urge all of you to contact the mining recorder, Mr. Ron Shaw at the Department of Natural Resources and fill out Form 11. Write a letter to the Mining Commissioner, Mr. Roderick P. Duguay. His address is on the board right now, explaining that the companies in question have not complied with the Mining Act, Section 44. I am now citing Section 44. As soon as possible following the staking of claims on private lands, or on a lease of crown lands, the claim holder or his agent must make every reasonable effort to inform the owners of the private lands or the lessee of the crown lands